Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be discussing Google Hangouts Meet. This is Google's online video conferencing tool that allows you to join or start a video conferencing meeting very easily. So to start, we want to go to our browser and the best one to use for this would be Chrome. And we want to put in our browser window meet.google.com. Now to join or start a meeting, all you have to do is click where it says join or start a meeting. If you've been invited to a meeting and you have the meeting code or the meeting nickname, you can enter that into the box here, press continue, and it will start the meeting for you. If you want to start your own meeting, all you have to do is either leave this blank or enter a nickname for your meeting. So let's name ours training meeting. Press continue. And this is going to start the meeting automatically for me. I can choose to disable my camera if I like, and I can also disable my microphone as well. So if I want to disable my camera, I can click the camera off. And for this tutorial, I want to turn off the microphone so there's no interference, but you could leave it on or off if you choose. When we're ready, we press join meeting, and that will automatically join the meeting. Now you can see that my meeting details have already popped up with the meeting nickname, but this can only be used within the Wagner College organization, so keep that in mind. It also gives you other info that you can share with people you want in the meeting. So you have your meeting number that's here, and you also have a dial-in number and a PIN that you can send to somebody who would like to call in. You don't have to highlight this, you could simply click copy joining info that will copy it to the clipboard and you can paste that info in any means of communication as you like. You can also add people if you like by clicking add people and then putting in their name or their emails. So I'm going to X this out right now, but that's how you would basically look at your meeting details and get to know what they are. Now, you can also invite people to a meeting another way, and that is directly through Google Calendar. So that's what we're going to go ahead and set up now. I've now clicked over to my Google Calendar and I've created a meeting like I normally would. Now in my meeting details though, what I want to do under Add Conferencing is click the drop-down menu and choose Hangouts Meet. What that's going to do is it's going to generate the meeting ID, which is here, and it'll also send that person the meeting phone number and PIN should they choose to use it. So I'm going to add a guest here, and then I'm going to press save. That will then send the invitation email to my participant and they'll receive the information. So let's take a look at what that's going to look at now. So you can see that my IT training account has gotten an invitation. If I click on that email, it tells me that we're having a, a Hangout Meets tutorial meeting, and I can also look at the joining info here. If I want to join that meeting, I simply click on the link when it's time to join it, or it can join by phone by dialing this number with the pin here. I don't want to join this meeting in particular for this tutorial, but all this person would have to do is simply click on this link and it would get them started right away with the meeting. So let's go back to our original Hangouts Meet so we can take a look at some of the features inside of a meeting. So now we're back inside of our meeting window and we're going to take a look at some of the features that we can use while we're facilitating a meeting. The first thing you might wanna do is see who's joining your meeting and you can do that by going to the upper right hand corner. You'll see the little person avatar here and if you click on that, it'll show you who has joined your meeting and what their names are. You can add people as well by clicking add people. You could put their email address in there or invite them by phone and you can also chat with your participants by clicking on the little chat bubble here. So someone, hi everyone, and I can say hello and send that as well. So you can go back and forth and chat with your participants that way if you choose to do so. So if you want to present your screen, it's very simple to do so. You can do that by clicking present now, and that will present either your entire screen or just a window of what you're looking at. So your entire screen is going to show everything that you're doing. So if you're showing one thing, but you move that window out of the way, it will show that to the participant if your entire screen is shared. If you want to share just a specific space that you want them to see, you can click a window. It will show you all of the applications that you have open currently that you can share with participants. If you want to turn on captions, you can do so by clicking turn on captions, and that will then write in words what you're saying to your participants. Right now it's not showing that because my microphone is off and it would provide too much interference with the video, but it will show up if you do turn on captions when you're trying it. If you click on the three little dots here, you can look at more options for your video conference. So if you click on more options, you can change the layout, you can make it full screen, 
Again, you can turn on captions and you can also take a look at the settings, which is basically your audio and your video settings. If for any reason you need to mute a participant, you can do that with their microphone here by clicking it. My participant is already muted, but you can do so if that was available for you. If you need to see the meeting details again, you could do so by clicking the nickname of your meeting here in the lower left-hand corner, and it'll also give the nickname, the meeting information, the, the member ID here, and you can also dial in with the number and the pin here. When it comes time for you to end your meeting, all you have to do is go to the little phone here and leave the call, and that will allow you to leave the meeting. So those are the basics. As you can see, it is extremely easy to not only join a meeting, but also to create and facilitate a video conference for all of your participants. You can have a video conference call with up to 25 participants. I hope you enjoyed learning how to use this tool and that you'll find it useful for any future meetings.